The fundamental counting principle is used to find the total number of all of the possible outcomes of an experiment. So sample space is like the actual outcomes. Like what would, what would actually happen? The fundamental counting principle is like how many different ways can you have an outcome? Or like how many different outcomes? How many, how many possibilities are there? Not really what, what are the possibilities, but how many are there? And the way that you find that number is you multiply the number of possible outcomes from each stage or event. So what that means is like maybe you're um, gonna flip a coin and then you're gonna roll a dice. Like those would be two different stages to your experiment. Or in this next example that uh, it has to do with a license plate um, each like digit on the license plate is like a different stage, like a different piece of the uh, experiment. So, our example, the pattern for a certain license plate is three letters followed by three numbers. So, I think I can put a variety of letters in this first spot, I can put a variety of letters in this second spot, I can put a variety of letters in this third spot, and then I could put a variety of numbers in the first number spot, then some numbers in the second number spot, and then some numbers in the third spot. So I have six places on my license plate. The first three are letters, the second three are numbers. The letter O is not used as a letter, and the number zero is not used as a number, which makes sense because O and zero get confused with each other because they look the same so like if someone's going to try and phone in a license plate number and they're you know get O or zero confused it's a totally different license plate and then it says any other letter besides O or zero can or any letter or number can be used multiple times so we don't have to worry about like I can't repeat digits it's okay to to use the same number over and over again so how many license plates can be created with this pattern so the first spot the first stage of the experiment is this first letter in the license plate since O is off limits and there's 26 letters in the alphabet that means I actually only have 25 letters available for my license plate so I could use any of those 25 letters in this first blank this first spot on my license plate and since I can repeat letters, I still have 25 letters that could go in the second spot. And I have 25 letters that could go in the third spot. Because it's okay for me to repeat letters. Well, then I switch to numbers. Because the end of the license plate is three numbers. And if zero is not a digit, that means that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine are all options. So... I have nine different possible numbers I could use. I could use any of those nine digits for the fourth spot. It's okay if I repeat them, so I could use nine, all nine of those digits for the fifth spot, and I could use any of those nine digits for the last spot. So it's like I have 25 possibilities for the first spot, 25 possibilities for the second spot, 25 possibilities for the third spot, nine possibilities for the fourth spot, nine possibilities for what could go in the fifth spot, nine possibilities for what could go in the sixth spot. And so the fundamental counting principle says to find the total number of license plates that could be created, I'm just gonna multiply all of these possibilities for each of those stages. So I have six like stages or six events. So 25 times 25 times 25 times nine times nine times nine is a really long number. One, one, three, nine, zero, six, two, five, eleven million three hundred and ninety thousand six hundred and twenty five license plates. That is how many unique license plates can be created using just this pattern. Over eleven million different license plates. So if you think about our license plates now in Texas have a seventh digit. So if you think like if there's just one more digit added to this uh, set of potential license plates, that dramatically increases the number of potential license plates. So that's why when they start running out of all the license plate options, they just keep, they just add a digit and it just creates way more possibilities. 
So the big idea is to figure out the total number of possible outcomes, you're just going to multiply all of the individual possible outcomes um, for each stage or each part of the experiment. You just multiply them all to get the total number.